Good morning, my name is Tori. I'm here to take you through a yoga sculpt today. So we'll be flowing through some yoga postures and adding in weights and cardio and strength training today. So I have a mat and a light set of weights. You can do this with just your body weight or any kind of resistance that you have lying around your house. If you have any music that you want to put on, go ahead and put that on and we'll go ahead and get started, all right? So we are going to start at the top of our mats today. Hands come together at heart center. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears and close your eyes. We'll start here with just a few big deep breaths in and out, allowing ourselves a moment to disconnect from our day, our week, anything that we have going on outside of this space. allow yourself to disconnect from all of that and really just tune into your breath, your body, how you're feeling and what you need out of this time on your mat today. On your next breath in, open your eyes, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, baby back bend. Drop your elbows to 90 degrees as you open through your upper back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Pause here. Reach your fingertips back and up over your hips. Sink your weight back into your heels. Your feet can be touching a little bit further apart, hip width distance apart, whatever feels better for you. Find a slight tuck of your tailbone as you hug up through your low belly. Sink a little bit lower, take a breath out. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane, arms. A few more times. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open up. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, tank low. Take this a couple more rounds. Your own pace, your own breath. You're using it as an opportunity to open and stretch through the upper body and activate the muscles in your lower body as well. If it feels comfortable for you, you can close your eyes. Really allow yourself to focus on how the movement feels within your body. Every time you find chair pose, I want you to try and sink a little bit lower. One more time through. On your next inhale, mountain pose, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, ragdoll. Step your feet hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Big bend in your knees, let your head hang heavy down towards the ground. If your hamstrings or your low back feel a little bit tight, the bigger bend you find in your knees, the more release you'll feel through your back body. Give your head a little shake side to side, yes or no. Let any tension you may be holding on to through your upper body roll right off here. I always like a little sway side to side. Hands might find opposite elbows. Let your torso release and hang heavy down towards the floor. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale your left hand to the center of your mat. Inhale, ragdoll with a twist. Bend through your left knee. Straighten through your right leg. Find a little bit of movement through your right arm. A roll out of your wrist, some circles with your arm. Whatever movement feels good. Inhale, reach your right arm back up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, ragdoll with a twist. Other side, bend through your right knee, straighten through your left leg. Find similar movement here on the other side. Rolls through your wrist, circles with your arm. Should feel a nice stretch through the back of your left leg. Inhale, reach your left arm back up. Exhale, release forward, fold, step your feet together on your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Pause here and breathe for a few breaths. First plank pose of class, set up a strong foundation. Spread your fingers wide on your mat. Press up in the space between your shoulder blades. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Squeeze through your glutes and your inner thighs. Just start to feel a little fire and activation through your belly, your upper body. Keep breathing. 
One more breath in here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sit here and breathe for a few breaths. Find a little pedal out of your feet. Bend your right knee, your left knee. Stretch through the backs of your legs. Release your shoulders down away from your ears and let your head hang heavy in between your biceps. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a breath out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, hover your knees right above your mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take this through a few more rounds. Your own pace, your own breath. A little bit of flowy movement to start to warm up your muscles. Get your heart rate up just a little bit. Keep pulling your belly button up and in. Lots of strength and activation through your core. We'll take one more round through. And meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot up in between your hands. Drop your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, and breathe. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. Arms can stay up overhead. You can bring your hands to the top of your knee. You can find a little side stretch up and over. Whatever feels good here to stretch and open up through the front of your left hip and thigh. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale, half split. Bring your hands to the ground and straighten through your right leg. Keep a little bend in your right knee so we're not completely locking out your joint. You can flex your toes back towards your face or point them down towards the ground. Sometimes that will change the sensation in the stretch a little bit. You should feel a stretch through the back of your right leg, through your hamstring, maybe a little bit through your calf. Stay here for one more breath out. Inhale back to low lunge. Exhale, high plank. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot up in between your hands. Your knee is right over your ankle. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon and breathe. Let your hips relax forward. Same thing here. Hands can stay up overhead. They can come to the top of your knee. You can find that little side stretch up and over. Whatever feels good here. Just stretch and open up through the front of your right hip and thigh. Breathe into the stretch. I know this can be a little tight. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale, half split. Push your hips back as you straighten through your left leg. Again, keep a small micro bend in your left knee. Breathe into the stretch. Feel the muscles through the back of your left leg lengthen and open up. Stay here for one more breath out. Inhale back to low lunge. Exhale, high plank. Stay here for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Little change here. Inhale, chair pose, breathe. Reach your arms up overhead. Hands can always come together at heart center as well. Your feet can be together or hip width distance apart if a wider stance feels better for you. Find a slight tuck of your tailbone, zip up through your low belly. Your back is flat. Sink a little bit lower, take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to mid plank. Plant your hands, step your feet back, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hands and tops of your feet are the only thing touching the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe. Lift straight up. Shoulders stack over your hips. 90 degree bend through your front knee. Bring your hands to your hips for just a moment. Square your hips forward towards the top of your mat. 
Arms can stay up overhead. You can bring them to heart center. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Pause here and breathe. Keep the 90 degree bend in your front knee locked in place. Left toes point towards the edge of your mat. Outside edge of your foot is parallel to the edge of your mat. Stay here for a breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm straight up and then slightly back. A lot of times people just like to dump all the way over to the side, but I want you to think lots of length up and then slightly back. Take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands to the mat. Lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe. Pause here for just a moment. Same setup on this side. Lift up onto the ball of your back foot. Pull your right hip forward in line with your left and lift up through the crown of your head. Take a breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Pause here. Front knee stacks right over your front ankle. Shoulders right over your hips. I like to flip my palms up to relax my shoulders down. Take a breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe. Keep your front lunge locked in place. Lift up and out of your hips to find length through both sides. Take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Always an option to skip chaturanga as well and move from high plank to downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose, sink low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, we flow through. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Here's the skipping option. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll flow through with your weight. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, forward fold, capture your weights. Inhale, mountain pose. Press your weight straight up over your shoulders. Exhale, chair airplane arms. Lift your weights up over your hips. Inhale, chair pose. Press your weights together at heart center. Exhale, forward fold, drop your weights. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. On your exhale, inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge, capture your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge, press your weights straight up over your shoulders. Let them sink you low. Exhale, warrior two, pull your weights through heart center. Press out, micro bend in your elbows. Inhale, reverse, press your right weight straight up over your shoulder. Exhale, chaturanga, pull, pivot, plant your weights. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Press your weight straight up overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Pull your weights through heart center. A little bend in your elbows. Inhale, reverse. Press your weight straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull, pivot, plant your weight. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe for a few breaths. Back to your sun B flow. Now we'll flow through. Add in more weight, some strength, and some cardio. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, forward fold, grab your weight. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. 
Step your feet apart, bring your weight together at heart center for squats. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press up over. <laughs> exhale as you press up to the top, rather. Weight is back in your heels for your squats. Chest is lifted, shoulders pulled back. We add a single arm Arnold, Arnold press in three, in two, and one. Bring your weight right in front of your chest at the top. One weight presses straight up overhead. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press. So you can see there's a little rotation through my arm as I pull it back in towards my chest. Keep breathing. Inhales as you lower, exhales as you press. Keep your weight back in your heels Whew. and squeeze through your glutes at the top of your press. You got this. Keep your core nice and tight. We have just a couple more here. Keep getting low. Here's four. We drop our weights for X jumps in three, in two, and one. Drop your weights. First cardio burst, X jumps. Opposite hand reaches for opposite foot. Jump up at the top. Always an option, of course, to take out the jump and reach and twist as well. Jump up as high as you can. We got this, come on. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, nice job. Grab your weights. Whew. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, tricep kickback. Use this as an opportunity to come back to your breath, to slow it down a little bit. So you can see my back is flat and the movement is only coming from my forearms. So my whole entire arm isn't trying to swing, just my forearms. Upper arms need to be locked in place so that you're just working your triceps, the backs of your arms. Exhales as you lift and squeeze. Pull your belly button up and in. We got this. Here's four. Sink a little bit lower in your chair pose for three, two, and one. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, drop your weight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your weights as stilt. Lift your left leg off the mat, leg lifts. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. So the weights are there just to bring the ground a little bit closer to you. They are not there to hold all of your weight. You should be able to wiggle your fingertips, your hands around on your weights to ensure that you're not dumping all of your weight forward into them. Hug up through your core, lifting up and out of your right hip. Add a hamstring curl at the top. Woo. Lift, curl, straighten, release. Flex your toes as you curl your heel in towards your glute. Whew, we got this. Keep breathing. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Whew, goodness. Stay with me. We're almost there. Last four. Back to low lunge in three. Come on, we got two more, two more. Last two, one more right here, exhale, low lunge, step your left foot back, drop your left knee down, bring both weights 
into your left hand for a single arm curl. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you curl. Try out the double weight before you just tell yourself, no way, I'm not doing that. Challenge yourself to try at least one or two reps with the double weight. Hug up through your core here and try to minimize any swinging side to side through your torso. Lift up through the crown of your head, shoulders pull back and stay nice and open. You're doing great. Stay with your breath here. And exhale as you crawl. Come on, come on. I know these double weights are hard, but you can do it. Stay with me. Here's four, three, two, and one. Bring both weights into your right hand, single arm, shoulder press. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press. Good. Part of the challenge with this move, I want you to stop your elbow once it lines up with your shoulder. So we're only lowering down to 90 degrees, not coming all the way down and using momentum to press. It's a sh sharp stop right at 90 degrees. Squeeze through your obliques, the sides of your core. I like to bring my left hand out to the side. Kind of as just a little counterbalance. Woo! Stay with me. Here's four. We're back to low lunge in three. Here's two. And one. Nice job. Separate your weights. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge. Good. For a server, what are these called? Alternate arms as you press straight out in front. There's a little micro bend in your elbows. So even at the furthest point of your press, there's still a bend in your arms. So our arms are never fully straight. We add the lunge in three, in two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. At the bottom of your lunge, there's a 90 degree bend in your front knee. Your knee is right over your ankle. Ooh. Let the depth come from your back knee. So instead of hinging forward to get low, we're dropping your back knee straight down to the mat. Ooh. This feels a little wobbly for anyone else. I'm feeling a little shaky here. Almost there, here's four. Weights come down by your side in three. In two, and one, inhale, lower, exhale, step to the top, lower, and step, lower, and step. Woo, we got this. Push down through your right heel as you push up to the top. We're back to crescent lunge in four, in three, here's two, and one, inhale, crescent lunge, press your weight straight up. Exhale, warrior two, supinated curl. Palms face in at the bottom and face up at the top. So it's a little rotation through your forearms. Check in with your warrior two legs. Right knee is right over your ankle, not caving in or pushing too far forward. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you curl. You always have the option to take one arm at a time as well. Keep lifting up through the crown of your head. We add the lunge in three. Here's two and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Exhales as you press up to the top of your lunge. Good, peek down at your front knee. Make sure that it's still a 90 degree bend every time you lower to the bottom. We got this. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Don't forget about your core engagement here. Here's four. That's three, two, and one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Pull, pivot, plant your weight. 
Rise all the way back up. We have four jumping jacks into four high knees for each side. Four jacks. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Always an option to march it out in place if you want to take out the jumps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, you got it. Always an option to just do jumping jacks or just do high knees as well. Almost there. One more set. One, two, three, four. Run it out. One, two, three, four. Woo! Nice job, nice job at home. All right, my hair is all over the place. Warrior two. Come back to your breath. Back to your breath. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Slow it down. Warrior two and three. In two. And one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg, please. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your weights as stilt. Inhale, lift your right leg. Leg lift, other side. You know what to do, we've been here before. <sighs> Inhales as you lower. Exhales as you lift up to the top. I want you to keep your right hip dialed down in line with your left hip through the whole movement. So there's no rotation through your hips. Keep hugging up through your core like you're lifting up and out of your left hip. Add a hamstring curl at the top. Lift, curl, straighten, release. Lift, curl, strengthen, release. Challenge yourself to take some weight out of your fingertips, out of your hands. You're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Come on. Remember, we get to drop down to our knees after this. So stay in it. Embrace the burn and the shake. Give me four. Back to low lunge in three. Come on, give me two more, two more. Last two. One more right here. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your right knee down. Bring both weights into your right hand for a single arm curl. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you curl to the top. Whew. Remember, upper arm is locked in place here. So there's none of this going on. None of this swinging, relying on momentum. You're in control of the weights. So control your lower and your lift all the way down. Pull your core up and in. Squeeze through your obliques, the sides of your core. Whew, oh my goodness. <laughs> really feeling it a little bit more on this side for some reason. <sighs> Stay with me. Crown of your head lifts straight up towards the ceiling. We switch to your left arm for the shoulder press in three, in two, and one. Switch sides, both weights come into your left hand. Single arm press, elbow stops at 90 degrees. At that 90 degrees, you're gonna be tempted to lean out to the side. Don't do it, don't do it. Squeeze through your obliques so you can stay stable through your torso. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We got this, come on. Keep breathing. Exhales as you press up overhead. Stay with your breath here. Come on, you're so strong. You can handle these double weights. Don't stop. Give me four. Back to low lunge in three. Here's two. And one. Killer job. Find low lunge. Separate your weights. Grab your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge for a low rotator. Palms face up and opposite arm crosses on top each time. 
you're ever doing shoulder work, like that press we were just doing, and your shoulders start to feel tired, taking it to this low rotator is a great way to strengthen your shoulders, um, but in a lower position. Squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back every time you open your arms up. Cool, let's add the lunge, inhale lower, exhale lift. You got this, come on. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Ooh, oh my goodness. Push through your left heel as you push up to the top of your lunge. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades every time you open your arms up. Looking good, come on, keep moving with me. Last four. Weights come down by our side for the lunge and step up in two. And one, inhale, lower, exhale, step. Lower to the top. 90 degree bend through your front knee every time you step back and step up. Keep your shoulders relaxed down, away from your ears. We got this, give me four, three, here's two, and one. Inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, warrior two. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me better. We have a W curl. Palms face away from your body, and thumbs curl up to the tops of your shoulders. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. this fast on the other side, did we? Don't worry, I'll even you out. 90 degree bend through your front knee at the bottom. Hold your lunge in three, two, and one. Hold your lunge right here, just the bicep curl. Gotta even you out, gotta even you out. Gotta get that static hold through your front knee on this side as well. Whew. Keep breathing. Inhales as you lower. Exhales as you curl up to the top. We got this. Sink a little bit lower through your front lunge for four. Here's three. Woo, last two. And one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, press straight up. Exhale, low lunge, pull, pivot, plant your weight. Come all the way back up. We have skaters side to side. Always an option to take out the jump and just quickly step side to side as well. Hug up through your core. Maybe you try and tap the ground every time you step side to side. Working a little bit more. Do the booty. Whew. Come on, stay with me. Here's four. Last three. Two. And one. Nice work. Find warrior two. Let's come back to our breath. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, lower. Reach up. Slow down your breath. Last four, three, two, and one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands to your mat. Flip around back up to the top. Find downward facing dog on your exhale. Take a big breath in and exhale, sigh it out. One more just like that. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Grab your weight. Bring both of your weights together for a ground to overhead. Squat and press. Squat and press. Weight is back in your heels. And at the top of your press, you're in a strong, straight line. So I want you to be mindful that you're not doing this. 
at the top of your press. I want you to pull your low ribs in towards one another and squeeze through your glutes at the top. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Squeeze it at the top. Oh my goodness. This move gets my heart rate up so fast. We're working everything here. Your lower body, your core for stabilizing, your upper body for the press. Give me four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, mountain pose, big breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane arms hinge forward for a rear fly, underhand row. Rear fly, palms face forward for the row. Face you so you can see a rep. There we go, you got it. It's really easy to rely on momentum for the rear fly. So if you're doing one of these, you're not getting hardly anything out of it. Slow it down. Feel the squeeze through your back body. I sometimes love to take one arm at a time so I can really slow down and feel the muscle engagement. You're doing great. How's your chair pose? Can you sink in a little bit more? Bet you can. Come on. Keep breathing. Here's four. We ditch the weights for high knees in three. Come on, give me two more. Two more. One more right here. Fly, row, drop the weights. High knees, here we go. Drive it up. Always an option to quick march it out in place as well. Drive it up, up, up. There we go. Looking good. Always an option to reach the arms up overhead as well. Come on. Give me 10 more seconds. Whew. A little bit more, a little bit more. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, top of your mat, mountain pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, slow down your breath. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhales as you reach, exhales as you sink low. Slow it down. Here's four, three, two, and one. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Whew. Take a big breath in and downward facing dog. Exhale, drop down to your knees. Grab your weights, please. We're starting in boat pose. Bring your weights together at heart center. Lean back until you start to feel your core engage. You can stay right here with your heels on the mat, or you can lift them away from the ground. Whatever option you choose, I do not want any rounding in. I want you to sit up really tall, really tall. Actively pull your low belly up and in. Whew. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. If you're not shaking, you're not working hard enough. Come on, sink a little bit lower. Last 10 seconds. I'm watching my clock. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on. Give me three, two, and one. Awesome job. Keep a hold of your weights. Come all the way down to the ground. I want your legs to find their hover. Mine is at a tabletop today. Yours might be here, it might be here. You get to choose. Mine's right here at a tabletop. We have a chest press with a lift at the top. Chest press and lift. So wherever your hover is, you shouldn't feel any abnormal arch in your low back. I want you to have a neutral spine. 
If you feel your low back lifting way far away from the ground, you're putting pressure on your low back and not getting all you can out of your core. So find a spot where you can maintain a neutral spine. You'll get more out of the movement that way. Whew. Working everything here. Come on. Last four. You got it. Come on. Three more reps. Three. Here's two. Give me one more. Last one. Nice job. Set up for bridge pose. Walk your heels in towards your glutes. Lift your hips. Bring your weights together overhead for a lat pull. Inhale as you reach your weights up overhead. Exhale. Pull them right back up over your shoulders. I know it's kind of hard to see, but my arms are almost completely straight. There's just a little micro bend in my elbows. Push down through your heels, find a slight tuck of your hips. Inhale as you reach. Exhale as you pull up and over. Pull your low ribs in towards one another. Good, we take it to a skull crusher in three, in two, and one. Bring your hands right up over your shoulders. Bend at your elbows 90 degrees. Press your weight straight back up. So similar to how we were avoiding swing in our arms before, we're doing that again here. So it's not your whole arm moving around, it's just a bend in your elbows. This move is now working your triceps, the backs of your upper arms. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press up overhead. Woohoo, doing good. Come on, looking strong at home, we got this. Here's four, three, give me two, and one. Awesome job. Send your legs straight up the wall for weighted rope climbers. Opposite hand reaches for opposite foot. Always an option to ditch your weights and just do this with body weight. My arms are a little tired today, so I'm just moving with my body weight now. Try and lift your shoulder blades as high as you can off the mat. Like I was standing right by your feet asking you to high five me. Reach, reach as high as you can. You got this. Here's four, three, two, and one. Nice job, dead bugs. Last core move here. Uh, actually not the last one I like, almost the last one. Send your arms straight up overhead, opposite arm and leg, extend at the same time. Opposite arm and leg. Keep your low back, press down towards the ground. Again, we want the neutral spine. If you feel your low back arching and lifting up, you need to shorten your range of motion. Flex through your toes and push through your heels Every time you push away from your body, like you're pressing some heavy resistance away from you. Option to lift your upper body off the ground for the last 10 seconds. Come on, we got this. I'm watching the clock. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Rock and roll all the way up to your seat. We have side plank on each side, and then we will uh, flow through your sun B with a little bit more yoga, all right? The hard work is almost over. We'll meet in side plank, right forearm down to start, and three, two, here we go. Option to stack your feet, to stagger your feet, to drop your back knee down to the mat. Wherever you are, your shoulder is right over your elbow, so your joints are stacked on top of each other. Squeeze through your right side body. We got this. Come on. We have about 10 more seconds right here. And then we'll switch sides. Woo! Keep hugging up. Come on, lift your hips a little bit higher. Last five. Three, two, 
One, switch sides. Here we go, here we go. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Same options on this side. You can stack your feet, you can stagger them. Please choose the same option on this side though that you did on the other side. Shoulders right over your elbow. These static holds are sometimes so much harder than actually moving around and doing work within the posture. Stay with it, stay with it. We've got about 10 seconds to go. Ooh, oh my goodness. Come on, lift your hips a little bit higher with me. Last five. You got it at home, don't stop. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Good work at home. All right, we will find downward facing dog to flow through our sun B. It's a little more yoga this time. Take a breath out and downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Stay open through your chest and shoulders here. Lifting up and out of your hips. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Option to skip at this point. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, little change. Exhale, vertical twist. Send your right arm back, your left arm forward. Notice my shoulders are still right over my hips. So if you found yourself reaching and leaning forward, I want you to pull yourself back. Keep your joints stacked. Relax your shoulders down. Take a breath out. Inhale, warrior two. Stay here for your exhale. Little change. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, proserita, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge forward from your hips. You can take your feet as wide as you need to to make contact with the ground with your hands. Reach the top of your head down towards the ground, your tailbone up towards the ceiling to stretch through the backs of your legs. Stay here for one more breath out. Inhale, star pose, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist. Pause here. Good. Keep moving. Don't keep moving, excuse me. <laughs> Pause, keep breathing is what I meant to say. Left arm is back, right arm is forward. Lift up through the top of your head to find a gentle twist through your spine. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. Belly button pulls into spine. Stay here for a breath out. Inhale, warrior two. Stay here for one more exhale. Inhale back to star pose. Turn to face you. Exhale, force, bring your heels in, your toes out. Hands come to the tops of your knees for some shoulder dips side to side. Use your hands to press into your legs to open them up a little bit more for a stretch through your inner thighs, your hips. One more breath out here. Inhale back to star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga, last one of class. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, half pigeon. Pull your right knee up towards the top right corner of your mat. Peek over your right shoulder to square up your hips. You can stay lifted upright 
or you can start to lower down towards the ground, however far it feels comfortable for you. If a seated or supine figure four feels better for you as well, you can definitely find that variation of the stretch too. Allow yourself to relax through your upper body. Slow down your breath. If you're down on your forearms, please start to press back up onto your palms. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, half pigeon. Take a moment to set up. Peek over your left shoulder. Square up your hips. And take a moment to just feel the posture before you decide if you need to just fold into it right away. You should feel an amazing stretch through the outside of your left hip. This is my favorite part of any yoga class. <laughs> Half pigeon <laughs> out of this pose. Feels so good, it's such a great stretch, so relaxing. If you're down on your forearms, please start to press back up onto your palms. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop down to your knees. Send your legs straight out in front of you. One more final stretch here. On your inhale, reach your arms up, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward, reach your chest towards your toes. Doesn't matter how far you can fold forward here, just allow your upper body to relax wherever you land. No need to try and force yourself to your feet. And envision any tight resistant muscles you have here opening up and relaxing into the stretch with every breath you take. One more breath out here. Slowly roll back up to the top. Find a comfortable seat. On your inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, pull your hands through heart center. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to practice with me. I hope you had a great time. Thanks for being here, for working so, so hard. Namaste.